Hi. <clears throat> Went for my bike ride this morning and uh, along the river, River Wandle, which I paint. Uh, so maybe I'll do a, a quick demo of it. Uh, it's a beautiful day today, again. Very warm. And I don't know how the paper is going to offer itself up with, with the uh, wet in wet. I think it's going to be hotter tomorrow. And I'm, and I'm doing a demonstration tomorrow. I've got to make it last two hours, so I have to do two line and wash, I think, because the drawings will take a bit of time. So, uh, this is the last demo I do for, on YouTube for a couple of days. So, this is just the Loads of trees along the river Wandle and a bit of, bit of distance, done like that. Uh, I didn't mean to go up in the sky like that. Now do you think in my mess I can find my putty rubber? I have got a reserve for when I lose this one. I don't know where it is. Oops, sorry. Oh, I've got it. Oh, I'll just replace you. I've got a new one here, so I'll just use that Pro 10. These are great rubbers. Don't use the ordinary rubbers for, for rubbing out. They're just smudge. And don't draw into your paper and make a mark, a dent in the paper. Not good. And I'm using a graphite stick. Bohemia Works, Czechoslovakia. I've had it for years. <coughs> so we'll have some trees here, a bank coming around it's, it's, it, I call it a river. It, it, it's a sorry, a sorry chalk stream. And it's, it rises in a place called Croydon <coughs> and tips out into the Thames. And if you can make it to the Thames on your bike, you can have a couple of pints of Young's beer at the ship in the Wandsworth Bridge. It's very, very nice. Okay, that'll do. So, wet in wet. I don't know how, how long it's going to stay wet or damp for, because the air is very, very dry or very warm anyway. Well, that'll do. It's just, uh, don't over wet it, but I want it wet. And you'll notice when you do this that oof, your paper gets large, it, it starts to stretch or spread out and you can re-clip it. You want it to be fairly light sky, you want it to reflect nicely in the water. It can be quite fast flowing. Obviously, when it rains, it floods. Well, actually, it doesn't flood it. Well, I said that it does. There's a place where we passed where it was all sandbags when we had all that rain. But generally, the, the being a, a, a quite fast flowing anyway, it drops 126 feet, I believe, from Croydon to the Thames. So the water really does uh, disappear or dissipate quite quickly. Right, um, let's get a nice bluey cloudy, don't like to repeat on the left or done on the right. Uh, so we'll put a bit of, bit of a cloud colour, I'll mix a bit of, bit of alizarin in with that. So pull a hair out of my brush. A bit lighter there. Let's see what happens to that. Uh, very, very faint coming down here. Right, okay. Uh, Alright, just uh, I'll reclip that now. You, I've got a bit of tape on the top. 
just holds it there. When I take the clips off to put the mount on, and I've got a line across the the bottom uh, where you, here, all the way. Can you see my finger? No, all the way across, so that I know where to put the bottom of my paper, so that I don't have to take the painting off the board. Right. While that's drying off, I want to go in with a with a bit of a a, a, a greeny bluey background. So I'm just using ultramarine yellow, well the mix I use for the sky, but I want to, that's a bit weak, so I'll knock it up a bit thicker. This is the distance. It's a bit of thicker painting here on this bank. I've done this loads of times, different versions of it. Uh, let's just get some nice shadowy blues. Right, a bit of burnt sienna. Do you know that mix? Well, let's see an ultramarine. Oh, let's put some darker. See, that gives the impression of a, of a reflection. So, let's get some thicker, warmer colours in here. Colours up a little bit here. Nice dark. I'm leaving out the paint's grey in it. So the bank. Happening. Oh, we'll let that. No, we won't. We'll just clean it up a little bit. Okay. I need a, a card for that, really. My fingernails are a bit thick. Do this. I'll put something here. Just show a bit of distance. This river is a wild stream, a small river, large stream. is surrounded by factory estates, and but it fights for its its life. And it gives a lot of us a lot of a lot of pleasure. Okay, now we've got a nice rich green. I'm using burnt sienna, lemon yellow, blue. Let's get some shadow in here. There are no rocks on this bank, so I won't put it in. Quite a few fish. Right. 
Oh, was well, much more dark in there, so I'd mix a bit of light red in with uh, the whole stuff here. So, ultramarine, light red, green, plenty of blue. in the shadow. So I want one side more dominant than, than the other. It's just quite a nasty shape there. Just some reedy, grassy, some of that. I'll put some darks in this uh, dark shadow in the banks. Yeah, very. Okay, so I'm going to just etch into it. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to dry that. So close your, or take your headphones off if you're listening. Now. I'm going to um, put in the reflections now. So let's just gently re-wet the water, but don't overdo that because you'll disturb the paint underneath. So let's just put some of that in there, a bit of yellow. Darker. Um, a bit greener on that side. I'm really just gently repeating what's above me. Okay, that'll do. That's, that's looking a bit iffy, isn't it? But we can just... Right, now a bit of rigor work in here. I'll just mix up a bit of burn on burnt sienna, a bit of blue, plenty of water. Just a few strokes in. Just 
Tell us a bit of the texture in here, in that shadow area. Try to keep the centre of this light and pointing up the or the or framing the, the centre with the darker stuff on the left and right. So just showing some uh, acrylics next week I think. Might do a few more watercolours. So. I see the other drawing going up there, but I think I'll leave that. I think I'll quit there before I ruin it. Right, best I can do then. My, my quick, my quick series. Alright, put the mount on it. And have a look. Alright, it couldn't be simpler than that, could it? <coughs> I'll just move the camera around a little bit so we're more square. I don't know why that is. I'll just raise it up a little bit, see what see what happens. Oh, okay, well well that's a rough impression of my Surrey Chalk stream in Ravensbury Park. There is an island sort of sticking out. I think it's a broken tree and it's forming a sort of an island. And there's some large carp there at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed that. Let's zoom in a bit and have a look at the overall effect. That's what it did really. Nothing too difficult there. Wet in wet. Okay, if you watched it, thank you for watching. Bye bye.